the Covenant Partners and friends welcome you to Voice of Joy Word Ministries. Voice of Joy is a family church, a training center, and a restoring body. We are called to cover the earth with total man ministry. Now for today's message. Thank you, thank you. Bless your name, Jesus. We praise you, God, for your glory. We thank you for your glory. God, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for who you are in our life, God. God, we thank you for this day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we shake off this day right now, God. God, we thank you that we are victorious in Christ Jesus. God, we thank you for the gift of salvation. Oh God, we just bless you right now. We praise you. We glorify you right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise you, God. As we begin to, God, study more about your word, God, in the name of Jesus. God, illuminate the hearts and mind of your people right now, God. In the name of Jesus, use my lips of clay, God. I decrease that you may increase in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God. We magnify you. We make you larger than what we're going through right now, God. God, we trust in you right now, God. We lean out to our own understanding, God. Oh, God, we acknowledge you in all things right now, God. In the name of Jesus. We think that your word is a lamp unto our feet and it is a light upon our path, God. We bless you and magnify you. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a hand praise. Give God a hand praise right where you are. If you're standing, sitting, high of them, <laughs> give God a praise right where you are in the name of Jesus. We thank you. This is our Tuesday night Bible study encounter. With VOJ Voice, VOJ Word Ministry, sorry about that. VOJ Word Ministry, we come tonight, amen, just to share some nuggets with you, amen. Actually, believe it or not, this is my last night. For tonight, we got other um, teachers and instructors coming on um, for the next couple of months. I have them, how long, amen. Just sharing God's word with you, hallelujah. And this will be my last, uh, my last week doing this so it has been a pleasure amen amen i i i take it not robbery amen to come on and and share the word of god with the people of god in the name of jesus matter of fact i thank god amen uh for our leader amen bishop mom angela coleman <laughs> bishop angela coleman overseer we thank god for our pastors our elders uh, deacon ministers we thank god for you right now that's online in the name of jesus so like i said i stated that this is my this is my y'all uh, uh, last week for me doing this but we got many more awesome teachers and instructors coming so we've been out of the book dr miles Monroe talking about this scurving that hitting you uh, and, and this really is talking about the potential, the hidden potential that's inside of you. That once you find it and you establish that thing, how you need to work it. Because uh, not only um, just for the kingdom of God, but there's people in the secular realm that found hidden potential in themselves that are able to bring forth whatever gifting that God has inside them. Listen, every every man, every boy, every child, every woman, uh, I hope I said it, every male, female, boy, girl, child, has a gifting inside of them that God has given. It's each one of us have our own different potential and our own different gift. When I was stating earlier about, uh, 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 about myself being a musician, 
When I found out that I had those type of potentials and gifted in me, I stopped developing those things over years. And not even only that now, I'm in school to I'm I'm in school to learn how to read music, uh, music theory. Uh, that's actually, actually that's what I'm taking, music theory. So the potential and the gift that I that that's in me, I have. I'm learning how to develop that thing, and that's just like uh, what now uh, Miles Monroe had written in his book, stating the secret to living the godly life. The secret, and as I said, like I'm saying it right now, before. Um, the secret is out. I'm letting it out. And the only way you can be uh, uh, um, prosperous the way God wants you to do, you got to do it the way God do it. It's a principle because there are secular people. And the reason why I'm using secular because I'm, I'm just letting you know that that uh, you have people in the kingdom that tapped into and tapped into this. You have secular people that's not even in the kingdom, but they're very successful because what? They tap into that secret thing. And what is that secret thing? Whatever secret potential that's inside of them, they have tapped into that thing. And uh, and they found out the gift that God has given them. So um, this uh, 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 this book has really been a blessing to me. And and and, uh, and I, I I would I would uh, uh, encourage you if you don't have the book, you could go on YouTube. And that's the first time that, I mean, uh, that's when I started listening to it on YouTube. And just put it in my ear, let that word just saturate in you. Hallelujah. Meditate in his word day in and day out. So, um, so uh, uh, if you don't have the book, that's one way to get it, to get it inside you. So it's Dr. Miles Monroe discovering that hidden you. All right. So let me get on in here. I'm <laughs> just talking. Blessed be. <laughs> Y'all, please, 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 please forgive me. My voice a little. I've been singing and preaching this week, so hallelujah. But God still, you're going to get the glory in the name of Jesus. So, so my um title, my last title for this week is Knowing God Thoughts. Knowing God Thoughts. And before I go into that, the um actually, he has the key scripture. But I want to read it from out of the um, out of the Bible, and I'm coming from Isaiah 55, and um, he says eight. So let's start with um, well, let's just start with eight first. Then, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, said the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. I got to read the 10th verse. That's why I pause. <laughs> For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, return not thither, but weather water the earth and it make it a uh, bring forth uh bring forth bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word go forth out of thy mouth it shall not come it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please it And shall prosper in the thing where I have sunned it. Let's not just stop right there, cause all that's all that's some good word. Blessed be. <laughs> so, but our lesson today, we want to make sure that we understand that God is saying that that is saying uh, our ways and our thoughts are not like His. But studying and reading this little chapter here, stating that God is trying to get us to think. And act like him. Matter of fact, another scripture says that that um let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. My God. So we know it, knowing God thoughts about us. You know, it's it's I was reading some of the other um 
reading some of the other chapters. And and I, I picked out one right here that said, knowing God th thoughts, also knowing that you are overcomer, knowing that the thoughts of God about us, that we are a overcomer, we are victorious, we are we are the healed, we are delivered, we are set free in the name of Jesus. So in the mind of God and his thoughts. See, we got to remember, it says that our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways, neither his ways. So let's read it here. Let's get a little more clarity. But God told his people that his thoughts are not our thoughts. He was not saying he doesn't want us. He was, let me say that again. He's not saying he doesn't want our ways and our thoughts to be like his. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. God telling us, your thoughts and your ways are not like mine, but I'm trying to get them like mine. Oh my God, you hear that? Your thoughts and your ways are not like mine, but I'm trying to get your thoughts and your ways. Your ways, what, what, what you mean by ways? The way you uh, conduct yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way you process things, the way God processes it. If I could use that, that, that terminology, that our thoughts and our way that we do things, the way we carry things out is not like his ways, his thoughts. So he's trying to get our thoughts and our ways. Remember I said, let this mind be in us. We got the mind of Christ now. We don't have the mind of the flesh anymore. A mind of my my oh, that's another scripture. We coming to that Romans. We coming to that. But let me let so 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 God God is trying to get our thoughts and our ways like Him. That's why I say it doesn't mean uh, He does, He doesn't say that He don't want His ways and thought to be like God. God is telling us your thoughts and your ways. He trying to get them like how He thinks. How God think. And God already think that, that he not, not even think, but he know that we are victorious. He know that we are overcomers. He know that, that those things about us. Now what we have to begin to um, do, we have to speak these things. We have to walk them out because that's who we already are in the, in Christ Jesus. We all do those things in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever potential that you have inside you, in the name of Jesus, tap into that potential because that's who you are in Christ Jesus. Begin to work on that thing. Begin to develop that thing in Christ Jesus. So knowing, knowing God's thoughts about you. See, people get messed up because they think about what people think about them. Oh my God. Don't worry about what people think about you. We get so hurt about what people think about us. But listen, 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 listen. God saying, know my thoughts. Know my thoughts. The thoughts that I have for you. They are good. His thoughts is that he have for, for us to prosper. Uh, uh, to be in hell. Whatever whatever thoughts God have toward us. So, so knowing God's thoughts. Knowing what God know about us. This is what God is trying to get us to see. That, you know, that man ways and man uh, way of doing things are not like mine. Let me say it like that. <laughs> Man ways of doing things are not like mine. God got a way of doing things. And when he do it, you know it's God in the name of Jesus. So, so let's go on. So your thoughts and your ways are not like mine, but I'm trying to get them like mine. <laughs> God want us to have a mind like, like his. So that's what I just said. Let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. So he's trying to get us to change our mindset. Uh, uh, it's another scripture. It didn't come to me. Um, so as a man thinking, uh, so is he. When you begin to think in your mind, you begin to process those different things in your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart. There you go. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Hallelujah. So, so, it, so it, it plays a very important part in your thinking process. I know you heard this before. 
um, stinking thinking. You can't have stinking thinking. You got to think like the mind of God in the name of Jesus. So let's go. So God want us to have a mind like his. He told us through Apostle Paul. Here we go. Uh, 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 um, he just got part of the scripture. But let, let me go to Romans. Romans 12. Actually, I can I can just actually quote it. But let's make sure. Because we don't want we want to make sure we we get God's word right. Romans twelve, and we might as well just go ahead and start at the first verse. I beseech ye, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So I was I was teaching and preaching um, Sunday that how uh, we are we are in this world, but we're not of this world. Uh, uh, we are we are a kingdom principles. We are of the kingdom of God. We are a kingdom. Um, status <laughs> in the name of Jesus. So, so we begin to say that don't conform to this world. And what I was saying about being, um, I was talking about, or oh, the reason why I brought this up about the world. Uh, anytime Christ talked about the world, he never said, um, he never used the world as a kingdom. That's what I'm trying to say. He always used his kingdom when he began to say that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And anytime he talked about the kingdom of God, he always talked about kingdom principles in the name of Jesus. So, 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 so when they say be not conformed to this world, what I want to bring out to the world, meaning this world system, the things that how this world function. Remember now, we talk about the ways of man is different than the ways of God. Knowing God thoughts, knowing God ways. So this is what we're talking about. So we're stating that that it said that 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 don't don't conform, don't be like the world, don't be like the world system. Because their thoughts and their ways, their thoughts and their ways, according to the world, don't flow the way God flow. But he said, but be ye be ye transformed, be ye changed, be transformed. By the renewing, and how do you renew your mind? It's only through the word of God that you renew your mind. It's through the word of God. That's it. You meditate on this word day in and day out. You meditate on it. That's the way that you, you get to a place to where uh, you begin to renew your mind. Now, I'm not saying walk around and I like you, 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 you holy and spiritual all the time. That's not what I'm saying, but we want to have the mind of Christ. We want to think like Christ. We want to, uh, 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 this is where God is trying to get us at. Hallelujah. To a place to where, where we can, uh, uh, um, operate and flow like God. Okay. So be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And let's read the rest of that. It says that. Uh, renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is good. What is acceptable. And the perfect will of God. Hallelujah. So. Uh, uh, um, let me see what another translation says. Um. Don't become like the people that belong to this world. Almost said the same thing. But let God completely change the way. You hear that? The way that you think. <laughs> the way that you process things. The way that you think. He said, let, uh, 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 but let God completely change the way that you think. So that you live differently. Then you will understand what God wants to say or wants to do to you. You would know 
what is good. You will know what is pleasing to God and you will know what is completely right. There it go. So it, it says, let me read that one more time. I love that. But God completely want to change the way that you think. <laughs> Just talk about what I call it, um, stinking, thinking. <laughs> you want to change that. So he's trying to get us. All right, let's go back to the book. Let me read that again. What that part said. Um, uh, God want uh, God want us to have a mind like His. My God. Matter of fact, let's go in the mind of God for, for a little bit. If, if 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 I can say that, if I can do that, just for a little bit. When God thought about creating this world, Hallelujah. The mind of God, He said, "Let us make man in our image." He began to create heaven and earth and the firmaments and all these different things. It's in the mind of God, what he wanted to do. And after it was in his mind and in the spirit of God, he began to speak it out. Let us. He began to do things. Let us do this. What I'm talking about, let us. We're talking about the Godhead. He began to speak to the Godhead. Let us do this. Let us do that. I mean, you know, let them have dominion. Talking about man, let them have dominion over every uh, uh, thing that God created. The animals, uh, um, 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 what else? The, the 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 fishes, everything that was that God created. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! I'm just thinking of talking about the mind of Christ. How He separated the water from the from the sea. How He uh, 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 everything, the mountains. You know, sometimes when I go out and I see certain things, my mind just all of madness go to the mind of God. How He just put that out of space. The mind of God, just knowing knowing God thoughts. Knowing the thoughts mean knowing his mind, knowing, knowing how he functions. Remember, God weighs and I like our ways. Know our thoughts like his thoughts. But God is trying to get our thoughts like his, trying to get our ways like his. And one way we could do that, a couple of ways. Uh, renewing your mind through the word of God. And calling those things to be not as though they were. You got to call those things to be not as though they were. You got to speak it. The word is not thee in thy mouth. That's that's the thoughts of God. That's some of the ways that knowing God thoughts, he spoke, he spoke thing in existence. Hallelujah. So let's read on. So he wants us to know, obeying his will, doing what is pleasing and acceptable in the sight of God. And I love that in the sight of God, because some a lot of times people can do whatever they want to do to to uh, how can I say I want to make make sure make sure I'm doing it clean. They they make things look right because they in people's eyes, they in the front of people. But what about those closed doors when it's just you and nobody see your character? See, character not just only about being in front of people, but the real character is when you behind closed doors. That's where it's at. That's what counts. When you're behind closed doors. So we want to make sure we're doing what is pleasing and acceptable in God's sight. And I know uh, I heard another preacher say what 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 is which is the right thing, which is our reasonable, which is our job to do. To make sure that we're we're uh, we're doing pleasing and acceptable things in the sight of God. See what a blessing it is to know that you wake up. Uh, wake up tomorrow knowing and having God thoughts. <laughs> so as you wake up tomorrow, you sleep tonight, you wake up in the morning. First thing you want to do, you will give God praise for allowing you to wake up. And, and, and then just think that I have the mind of God. I have the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. I got the mind of God. It's a blessing to know that you know, when you wake up in the morning, you have the mind of God. But too often we wake up and say, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say that, uh, 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 um, um, well, it's Monday. You know, after the weekend, they done did all day, you know, um, church and uh, club hopping, whatever. <laughs> and you get to an establishment. I just say your job. You get to your job. You say, good morning. Good morning. It's Monday. You know, it's like, well, let's start all over again. Especially if you are a believer in Christ, you shouldn't even be thinking like that. Ah, 
So th you're thinking. Change that thinking, man. Every day is a good day. I don't care if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It said, God say, now listen to this. It said, God say, you're not thinking like me. <laughs> this is a day I made just for you. So if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, when they start getting closer to the weekend, people be like, whoa, boy, I'm so glad the weekend is here. I get to go party. <laughs> no, sir. <sub. laughs> so, so you wake up. It's Monday. Ah, God said, you're not thinking like me. Your, 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 your process is not, it's not like me. Your ways, you, 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 you're not thinking. You're not, you're not acting like, you know, you're not acting like me. And I just said that way. You're not acting like me. So, so he said, so I make this day just for you. Come on, I love this. Listen to this. It said, come on, let us go out and give them heaven. <laughs> give them heaven. He asked a question. Give them heaven? Yeah. There's a world. There is a world out there that is hurting. Let's give them heaven. Listen, let's pause right there for a second. Because you know, like, when you are, um, excuse my language, people say, well, let's give him hell. You know, give him hell. Give him hell to pay. That's pretty much what he's saying. He said, give him heaven. In other words, you don't know what a person may be going through. And just a kind smile or, or something that's up, something that could be uplifting to somebody else. You being a believer. You coming in talking about, well, there's another day that the Lord had made. It's Monday. Can't wait till this day over. Nah, man, don't come in, especially if you believer in Christ. Not to be talking like that. Come on, come on, come on, people of God. Monday, first of all, you, 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 you wake up, you thanking God that he has given you another day to see. Hallelujah. Then, well, Lord, it's Monday. Thank God. So when you begin to see people, good morning, good morning. You ain't got <laughs> so many people. Good morning. I'm blessed and highly favor of the Lord. You know the Lord is <laughs> now. Nah, you ain't got to do all that, man. Say, hey, man, I'm blessed, man. I'm just blessed to see another day. Hey, hey. You know, I I have a one of them. I'm saying, um, hey, man, how you doing? I said, man, it's, I'm hey, I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm. I, uh, you know, he said, uh, people ask you, um. Uh, I can't even remember how that little saying I say. It's good to be seen. Yeah, it's good to be heard, not seen. I think that's I think that's it. Ah, I can't remember. <laughs> One of the little cliches I say, but uh but 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 yeah, but it's good to be heard and not sitting up in a casket somewhere, just being seen. God has given me life in the name of Jesus. So 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 let's go out and give people heaven. Listen, a lot of these people are already catching hell anyway. You know what? Speaking of that, a long time ago was a song um, by uh, Nita, no, Natalie Cole, called I'm Catching Hell. <laughs> you know, me coming up in music, and I used to listen to that song, I just liked it because the piano, the vocals, and this, that, and other. But man, when you catch the title of that song, I'm Catching Hell, listen, that's exactly what a lot of people are doing. When a, especially when a lot of the artists and people singing things and you 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 singing and you talking it, that out the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. So we got the change. That's another scripture. Out of in the abundance of your heart the mouth speaks. So we got to speak God's word. We got to speak another way. Our ways are not like God's ways. Our thoughts. So we have to change our process of thinking and change our words, knowing God thoughts man yeah that song catching hell i'm like man wonder why she went through all that and that's what people are catching they're catching hell i don't know how you catch it because you can't throw it <laughs> hey can't throw hell <laughs> but, but people got hell in their life and we as believers are to go out and raise some sand of heaven that i don't even think that's that's a proper term <laughs> raise some sand of heaven let's go out and give them heaven because we don't know what people are going through 
We don't know what process of mind of people are going through. And a kind word, ma'am, a kind word, sir, will turn away those people that just are angry and mad. So those that come in, um, good morning. What's so good about it? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it's good because you woke up this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me read. Let me read a little bit more and then we go close this thing out. But we have the attitude of God. I can never be like you. It's what people say. I don't have it. God, I can never be like you. God comes to us and says, my child, that's exactly what I want you to do. Have the mind of Christ. Uh, think like me. God wants you to adopt his mind and his attitude towards yourself my god change your thoughts up even about your your yourself is it self-esteem it's the esteem of yourself <laughs> you're esteeming yourself not not boosting you up high-minded but my god he said he said uh, uh, uh that think like me god wants us to adapt listen his mind and his attitude towards yourself his desire that you think about yourself the way he does. My God. Believe his at at um let's, let's leave it right there. I like let's leave it right there. Let's leave it right there. God want us to adapt or either adopt mm, his mind and his attitude towards us. What is God's attitude toward us? He loves us. His attitude toward us, man, is good. He's he, The Lord is good. His mercy endure forever. Uh, his compassion is, is forever. His, 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 so his mind and his attitude towards yourself. He desired that you think about yourself the way God think about you. Man, I sin a lot. That's saying a lot, dude. I love that. So think about yourself the way God think about you. He loved me. He loved me. No matter my, my falls, my, 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 whatever you want to call it. He loved me. God loved me so much that he thinks about me. He think, my fact is one of the scriptures that I, that I said that, uh, uh, uh it's in Psalms. That is, it's, it's, it's a good thing to know when I wake up in the morning. God have me on his mind Jesus he has me on his mind hallelujah to the Lamb of God so stop beating yourself up um I'm not like God I could never be like God God is actually trying to get us to think like him trying to get our way of doing things like him what's another way of doing things when somebody uh cut you off and make you upset you just want to get out of no, 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 no. I know sometimes been out there, you just be like, "Woo, what, 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 what is it?" But having the mind of Christ in the name of Jesus. Well, that's my time. It's 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 been a pleasure, um, coming to y'all and and and, and just teaching, sharing the nuggets of God. With his people, with the believers in Christ, and those that um, that's catching this broadcast may be not may not be a believer in Christ. But let me tell you one thing: it's all about Jesus Christ. Accepting Him as your personal Savior, Lord and Jesus Christ. Romans ten nine say, "If thou confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved." Hallelujah! It's simply just receiving God. In your heart, in the name of Jesus. Well, listen, Father God, we just thank you for this time. God, we bless you. We honor you, God, for your very word. We thank you for your presence, God. God, we thank you right now, God, that um, our ways are not like your ways. Our mind is not like your mind. But, God, you are trying to get us to think and process things like you, God. God, we thank you that we be not conformed to this world, but we be transformed by the renewing of our mind, God. And that's that's uh, uh, ever staying and, and just 
uh, in your presence, in your word, God. We thank you, God. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's my time. And I thank you for yours. God bless.